WNST, Towson, Baltimore, and Baltimore Positive. Happy New Year. This is going to be a great segment for me. Uh, you know, I enjoy crab cakes. We're going to get back out on the Maryland Crab Cake Tour presented by the Maryland Lottery. Going to be at Nacho Mama's doing that next week. And by the time this is over with, I'm going to be eating Scunny's spinach salad and probably passing, maybe skinny margarita, but passing on the chips, but maybe not the salsa, which uh, I enjoy there so much. But this segment is going to be dedicated, and I haven't done this, to eggnog and to saying goodbye to the uh, wise eggnog and probably the pounds that come along with it. I don't read the backs of these anymore because I'm over 50, and you know I know when enough is enough, and this segment's going to be it. I want to invite on a uh, recurring character here in our fun at Baltimore Positive. Emily Bumgarner joins us from north of the borders, we say, in Pennsylvania, where they've made the playoffs, at least in the east side of the state. And then our Maryland contingent and the uh, new person on the beat, Christina Peliche, uh, joining us here. Uh, wise eggnog, nutritionists, and dietitian folks, please talk me off the ledge and just say, once it's gone, it's gone. Right, Emily? morning yes you know you can enjoy your eggnog but it's one of those things that you're not going to get all year so you know enjoy it while it's here but i think it's almost out of season now no, they took it away they, they they see people know i love eggnog i've been talking about this for 30 years and i love eggnog ice cream and boozy eggnog all of that and we had a place and i'll, I'll this is a weird story but there was a local farm here we used to get the eggnog at the at the farmer's market for many years and literally two years ago they changed the recipe and it wasn't as creamy and delicious and we went on an eggnog mission the last two years to find eggnog we love and i did not find this eggnog until december the 21st I found it at store 206, and Rob Santoni was there. He saw me excited about the peppermint stick, and I had the ice cream. And I had this, and I thought, well, you know, it'll be good. And then I had the first sip of it, and I have been rationing it. So this is this is good uh, a dietitian type stuff. I'm drinking it out of little shot glasses, just little ones. This is all I do. Christina, is this the right way to do eggnog right now? That's why there's still half a half, a half left right now. I mean – Whatever works for you. <laughs> well, I'm trying to stay on the right side of nutrition here, and I am running out, and they're going to take it away from me here. I've got a little bit left, and uh, I tell you, but this is the season where you do a lot of this, right? My wife had cookies that she brought, a cookie dough that she made in October and froze into little pouches, and we've now exhausted all of this stuff. So... <sighs> It's time for me to get, uh, you know, to get straight here on uh, my diet and things. So, Emily, this is why I invite you back because we talk about sensible things we can do. Uh, you know, I've had a lot of crab cakes. They, they sent you to meet Wise Markets back in September. I lost all the crab cake weight in September and October just in time for, like, Thanksgiving and pumpkin pie and pumpkin spice and uh, all of these delicious ice creams I've had. Tell me what you're telling folks uh, on, on the diet side, because I think it is a challenge through the holidays. We've all been trapped at home for a long time that staying in shape is really important. Yeah, you know, the new year, everybody always, you know, wants to lose weight, wants to get in the gym, that kind of thing. But sometimes, it, you know, by February, it's not necessarily working out, but it's really about making those small changes that are going to last all year that you're not going to feel defeated by February. So if you want to have, you know, a little bit of your eggnog here finishing out, um, you know, the season and you caught me pouring it, didn't you? Track. Yeah, I mean, you saw you <laughs> saw the glass was already dirty because I had, you know, I did like a pre shot of my eggnog. And some <laughs> people feel like they need to have liquor in their eggnog. And listen, I, I have liquor store sponsors. I, I just don't do it that way. I don't I like I prefer my eggnog in the morning, get it out of the way. But I'm with you. I want another gallon of this. And if anybody at Wise Markets loves me and you want to send it out, I'll drink it. Believe me, I'll find a home for it. But it does go away. And I do think that, like, I started to feel myself, like, in my clothes a little right after Christmas, you know, after Thanksgiving, because I do you – know, I'm a festive guy. You know that about me, right? I mean, we're out. People are offering me desserts. There's cookies everywhere. There weren't the same kinds of parties. But there were things that feel seasonal to me. 
um, in a dessert way that you only have this time of year, whether it starts with pumpkin pie, pumpkin roll, pumpkin anything, eggnog everything, peppermint everything. Um, and, you, you know, you, you tend to double down on desserts. They're more available. They, they sit around in bowls in the middle of the day, and you find yourself eating dark chocolate chip cookies in the middle of the day. So this is a time for me that I'm a little bit of a grazer, right? So snacking, you know, is something I think – and being sensible about, uh, sensible about what you're snacking on. Christina, what do you tell people on snacking uh, that could be helpful? My, my wife is a little bit like a rabbit. She keeps a lot of carrots around here, a lot of organic celery. So we do have that around here, um, and we do munch on that from time to time. What's your snack of choice, Christina? My snack of choice is definitely goldfish. I'm – I am a, I know, I like the salty, <laughs> but it's whatever you have around in um, your house. So if you have those fruits and veggies laying around, then you're more likely to snack on those. Having a few salty snacks here and there is definitely okay, whatever you prefer, but just kind of keeping in mind um, what you have around is going to be what you're going to reach for. Well, I think these are the decisions that are made. And, and Emily, I, I know we've talked a lot about shopping online. And I think when we're trapped at home, COVID obviously is getting a little crazy around here and mask all over the state again, that if people do shop online, you know, I, I guess the first thing is don't go to the grocery store too hungry, right? You don't want to say that because you're, you're trying to sell groceries to people. But, but the decisions you make when you're there will be – what you reach for when you're home. And I think that that's so, it's so important that whether you're shopping online or you're in the store at safely and walking around, the things that you're looking at and putting in the basket, I, I tend to like look at everything, but only pick one thing. And maybe that comes from good parenting. You know, my parents say, all right, if you're good, you can pick one thing before you leave. Uh, I try to, to be that guy. It's usually ice cream, to be honest with you. Yeah, like Christina said, even what is in your house. So I sometimes encourage people to have, whether it's in the fridge or out on the counter, like a little snack container so that it's stuff that you're going to see and going to grab um, instead of, you know, rooting through the pantry, that kind of thing. So if it's in your eyesight, if it's convenient, cut up, ready to go, you're more likely to grab it. I think for me, my life changed and I lost a lot of weight. Christina, you're new to this and you're here in Maryland. I want to give you a chance to talk about what you do here locally. And Emily's been on the program before, but I lost about 35 pounds 15 years ago and pretty much kept it off. I mean, when I say I've gained a couple of pounds, I mean literally four or five pounds during the holidays. I gained more than that during the crab cake tour. It was the French fries and the being a little sedentary back in August. Christina, I did 42 crab cakes in 30 days in August. Not that I wouldn't recommend that as a Maryland person because it was delicious, but I, you know, I, I would say when I lost the weight, the thing that moved me was how much I love fruit and how much I do like grains and cereals and getting my day off to the right start. Uh, I discovered oatmeal, uh, like a whole grain oatmeal, but I, I'm more into cold, um, 2% milk over um, – I, I eat, a, I eat an, an, an organic cereal that I get at Rob Santoni's store in the organic aisle as well. Um, and a, a banana, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries. I love that stuff. And I would say six out of seven days of my life. Now, I love a croissant. I love donuts. I'm like Homer Simpson, like donuts on all that. But I, I would say six out of seven days, the last 15 years of my life, maybe when I'm on vacation, I go omelet or I'll get crazy with some French toast or something. Um, but I, I try to eat fruit to start my day every day, clean fruit, a lot of times organic fruit. Um, but, but that's sort of my bowl of fruit thing, right? When you say snacking and you're going through the store, having – Things within arm's reach that if I have too many blueberries, uh, you know, or too many strawberries or too much lettuce or too much carrots, um, that it um, it satiates me during the day. Maybe even more so than reaching for something, you know, bad, like a candy bar or something. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of fiber in there that will really fill you up in the fruits and vegetables and the whole grains. Whole grains are a great option. Um, they're found all over the grocery store. You just kind of maybe have to look for them. They have the whole grain, which contains all of the fiber and nutrients, unlike the refined grains that don't fill you up as much, maybe. So really look for those whole grains, those great options. And there's brown rice, couscous, quinoa, many options to kind of switch it up. So you're also not eating 
the same things all the time. I love talking about eating. My uh, my wise friends are here. It's giving me a chance to break into my eggnog not once, not twice, but three times before it's all over with. Uh, I am I'm down to about here. Like I, I got a, just a little bit left in here, maybe about 12 ounces of eggnog, and then it's over. And uh, so I had Alyssa on, I had Hannah on, and we're talking, you know pot roast and beef stew and hearty dishes and Thanksgiving leftovers and my wife's doing uh, turkey pot pie and like all of these things um, that I think you you tend to do but I try new things and when we started talking about recipes and things you could find uh, you know out online and and, uh, good healthy things even healthy things through snacks and through the holidays um, I, I found a recipe for chia seed pudding and that's like the side of like maybe oatmeal or cereal things you could do in the morning that maybe aren't grits maybe aren't cream of wheat or something on that end but something that's a little bit more grainy i fell in love with chia seed pudding and it's like some people would say what is that how can it be come to my house and have some chia seed pudding with some fresh fruit some strawberries some blueberries uh with coconut milk and coconut water making it just delicious things that you know emily i know you're up in pennsylvania christine i know you're in brunswick here I've traveled the world and finding new things and new things to eat, sort of a little bit experimental for me, but finding things that are healthy, um, that, that, that really move my palate. I think it moves me further away from no offense, goldfish or potato chips or any of those kinds of things that I love, but I, I find myself more cheaty on those and more relying on going back to the basics, especially especially when I gain some weight, right? I've been drinking eggnog, talking about eating cookies. When, when you want to go back to the basics, I, I think that I do love some some things that maybe I never would have tried until I was 40 years old, like chia seed pudding, which I think I tried for the first time when I might have been 45 years old. And that's kind of why we're here, let people know, you know, different things that they can try, even like their typical foods, different ways that they can use them or cook them. You know, I always encourage people, if you're in the store, grab that new item or grab that new produce, you know, item that maybe you've never had before. Maybe you're not sure what to do with it. Ask us, go online, see what you can do with it. You know, it might be as simple as literally throwing it on a sheet pan in the oven and it tastes a hundred times better. Well, I think the cooking shows help on this too, right? I mean, there's yeah. so many creative ways and things you're like, they, they introduce a, a vegetable you've never seen or something you've never thought of doing with a fig or, you know, whatever. And you say, oh, well, I'll, you know, I'll give that a try. And I think uh, palettes change. Christina Pelletier here, uh, Emily Bumgarner from our Wise Markets team. Uh, I hope everybody's rounding up. We're into a new year here. I'm going to bring Rob back on. We're going to uh, extend the crab cake tour uh, and have some fun and get back out on the road. But uh, it is good to sort of keep it square that the year starts we're all trying to have new resolutions and get rid of old uh, wise eggnog it's it's not old it says on here january 8th i've got god i've only got four days left i gotta drink it <sighs> i do love it though and and my wife keeps telling me you know you can make your own eggnog if you want and i'm like no don't tempt me like that i'm trying to you know i'm with dietitians now and i'm trying to get square christina last up piece of advice for folks out there uh, for our audience who uh, likes to have a good time and maybe ate or drank a little bit too much any other uh, helpful tips on the uh, nutrition side i think it's great that you should you should enjoy yourself during the holidays enjoy family friends all the good food that's there but definitely kind of keep track of, you know, am I hungry while I'm eating or am I just eating because it's there and just kind of being aware of those kinds of things and all of the food that is around you, but do enjoy yourself and have a good time portion control you know emily i put these pictures up of me eating all over town i mean i I discovered el guapo three weeks ago i'm doing the pork carnitas i'm doing i mean i just need to just it's just time to slow down and i appreciate my wise friends for coming in and giving me some wisdom today emily uh give me a give me a uh, a shot of eggnog for the road here as i i sort of clear out i i they can't give me anymore so you know you know i'm gonna be slowing down right you got to, you got to savor it through the, you know, the rest of the week. But yeah, like Christina said, enjoying yourself, but also, you know, just keeping track, being aware of, are you hungry? You know, are you eating out of boredom, sadness, you know, all that kind of stuff. And like we said, trying new things, you can always join us for our virtual classes. Those are always fun. You can cook or you can watch along. Oh, hold on. Tell me about this. Hold on here. I can come cook. <laughs> 
Yeah. So Christina, myself, and our other dietitians, we have virtual classes. So if you want to cook along, you can, or you can just watch. What are we cooking? Talk to we me. are making. I, I, I got to tell you this, and this is not on the dietitian side, but my wife, uh, she's from New Hampshire. So she spent her uh, holiday up at Christmas time for two weeks, and her sister bought them a cooking class in Vermont at uh i i can't even plug the company because i don't but it was it's a it's a flour company and it's a baking place and she went four hours and learned how to make proper crust on like a blueberry pie for me or an apple pie so like my wife's into this and online so like if we're gonna cook together that sounds like fun tell me more about this yeah, so that's one of the things that we encourage is families, couples, kids, you know, get in the kitchen and you can cook along with us. We have all different days, times. We do brunch, dinner. So our dinner class is really nice, 530. You can cook along with us. And then by the end, you actually have dinner ready to eat. Um, but we do different classes all all week. Hold on, and that's two hours you do that? Is that what you said? You we have, it's about a half hour to 45 minutes, but you know, dinner's ready at the end of So it's like a chopped episode. We begin and then at the end we serve the food and then we we're yeah. like, Hey, we did pretty good on that. Or hey, I overcooked the steak a little bit too much. Right. Yeah. And everything, all the recipes are different. And a lot of people, you know, will tell us at the end, you know, I would never have picked this recipe, but it's very good. And I'm glad I tried it. I said chia seed pudding right now. If either one of you ever had chia seed pudding. I have. See, you're healthy. See, I, I can't get anything past nutrition people here. We really appreciate the visit, appreciate the time and the sponsorship and the fun that we have. Our Wise Conversations brought to you by our friends at Wise Market. So we, we mix it up around here. Sometimes Rob Santoni's having a crab cake. Sometimes we're talking about beef stew. And sometimes we're talking about getting rid of the eggnog and maybe moving to the salad a little bit on the crab cake tour. I appreciate you guys. Happy New Year. Thanks for coming on and being fun. Thank you. Christina, welcome in. Don't be the last time here. Maryland. We, we're going to do the Maryland thing. And, yes, uh, uh, you know, uh, Rob has, like, all sorts of things at his store. We're going to get you out to Fullerton one day. We'll have some fun. And it, it will involve something healthy. It will be springtime. My love of spinach will come out. I promise. There you go. I'll be like Popeye. <laughs> Thanks to Christine and Emily from Wise Markets, our friends and our wise conversations as we do them all the time. My wife just came and claimed the eggnog, got it back in the refrigerator so it doesn't curdle over the next 48 hours because I'm going to be I'm gonna be the one pouring it upside down, last drop into my coffee around here. I am Nestor. We are WNST. <sighs> Soaking in the teardrops of uh, Raven's defeat here. We never stop talking. Baltimore, positive. <laughs>